You might call them the poster children of Antarctica, penguins, the iconic animals of the frozen continent. But now a new study indicates melting sea ice caused by climate change may soon wreak havoc on one colony of emperor penguins and could spell doom for a large swath of the entire species. We show that uh, if a sea ice shrink uh, as projected by climate models, the population uh, will uh, decrease, um, we show a da dramatic uh, decrease by the end of the century. Scientist Stephanie Genouvier has been to Antarctica twice to study penguins around the French research station in Terre Adelie. In these pictures, she's working with a species called the Adelie penguin. One colony of emperor penguins in that area is perhaps the best documented on the continent. French scientists have been monitoring it since the 1960s. In order to analyze the dynamics of this population and see how the population relates to changes in sea ice, we need a very long-term, consistent monitoring of the population to give us the data that we need. In a study supported by the National Science Foundation, biologist Hal Caswell and Stephanie Genouvier teamed up to model how the Terre Adelie emperor penguin population will likely respond to melting sea ice associated with climate change. Their breeding colonies are on sea ice and uh, they rely on that ice being stable throughout the period while they're laying their eggs and, and rearing their chicks. And in addition, uh, and equally important, the sea ice uh, provides the base of the food chain that they rely on. As it turns out, there is evidence in the historical record that hints at how emperor penguins respond to decreasing levels of sea ice. In the 1970s, there was a period of about eight or nine years when sea ice declined by about 10 or 11 percent. It was an unusually warm event. And during that period, the emperor penguin population there crashed by about half. It went from about 6,000 breeding pairs down to about 3,000 breeding pairs. By the early 1980s, colder temperatures returned and the population stabilized. But the episode serves as a worrisome harbinger of things to come. Scientists predict that unless we start scaling back the amount of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases that we're pumping into the atmosphere, temperatures could rise from 2 to more than 11 degrees Fahrenheit over the next century. The resulting breakup of sea ice will nearly wipe out the colony at Terre Adelie. So it's a decline uh, uh, higher than 90 percent uh, uh, decrease, so it's a very high decline that puts the population at a high risk of extinction. Penguin colonies in other parts of Antarctica would likely suffer too. We need more research to make projection at the species level, but it's true that uh, population will uh, have severe decline. As Antarctica warms, sea ice may be more stable in other parts, like the Ross Sea. Some areas of Antarctica are more protected, and in those areas would presumably be um, places where the emperor penguins would have a better chance of long-term survival. Is it too late to save the emperor penguin? Caswell says coordinated global action is needed, and soon. It's definitely true that trying to make changes in something the size of the global climate system is a very slow process. It is like trying to, to change the direction of something like an aircraft carrier. I don't really know the answer to the question of whether it's too late for the emperor penguin, but it certainly uh, is time to start trying to do something about it. Uh, it. The situation won't get any better the longer that we delay in taking action. For Science Nation, I'm Bruce Burkhardt.